Hi Stampers, welcome to Great Inspirations. My name is Kim Tolbert and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Switzerland County, Indiana. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button below. Now, today, I thought we would um, do a little talk about watercoloring. This card, I have watercolored the background. And it's not actually a watercolor wash per se. I just call it an abstract watercolor background. And I will show you how I did that. But I also want to draw your attention to these really pretty butterflies. Those um, images are from the Butterfly Gala stamp set. Now this stamp set will be retiring with the Stampin' Up! 2020 to 2021 annual catalog. And that runs through the 3rd of May. So if this stamp set has been on your wish list, you might want to consider getting it um, fairly shortly. As you can see, it contains several butterfly images and some sentiments. It also coordinates with the butterfly duet punch. Now, the nice thing about this punch and the stamps is that the stamps are actually, the butterflies actually are together like that. And then when you stamp them and go to punch, you can punch out two butterflies at the same time. But sometimes I personally don't want to punch out butterflies. I just want to stamp them. So the good thing about the photopolymer stamps is I was able to just clip the butterflies apart. Then I have two stamps. But then when I want to stamp to punch them out, they go back together quite easily and I can stamp them and punch them out. So that was kind of a nice thing about that stamp set and the punch. But anyway, here's this card. And to create the background, we're going to be using the, um, what are they called? Water painters. We used to call them aqua painters, now they're water painters. And they come in a set of three, and they, do, they all have lids. This um, larger one I've just been using, and it's still wet, so I like it to dry before I put the lid on it. But it is a broad brush, and then there's a um, fine tip, and then the medium. And then you just unscrew them, you turn to the left. This one doesn't really want to, there we go. And then you can fill them with water. And I have this little funnel, I, I'm not even sure where I got it, and I just pop it in there. And I have a little bottle of water I keep in my craft room and I can just easily fill up the water painter. And you just close it up and you're good to go. But today we'll be using the broader brush. And another thing we'll be using is our um, staff and spritzers because I'm going to spritz some um, watercolor paper with some water. So, one more look at the card, and we'll get started. We'll be using a silicone mat. Actually, I have two of them here. We'll just need one um, to protect my surface from the water. And we're going to be using some Bermuda Bay. I'm just going to put it on a block so we can um, use that for our palette, for our water coloring. You can use the lid of course, um, simply by closing up the stamp pad and kind of squishing it. The only thing is once you um, get some water in there, and this is, this is all ink, there's no water, um, you will want to kind of wipe that out, the water out, before you close it up. So we're going to use the Bermuda Bay and we're going to use a Gorgeous Grape. Mm. And 
we're going to use some Mango Melody. I think it's time to re-ink this pad. That should do. Now, um, all of the cutting dimensions, instructions, and supplies will be listed on my blog, and I will have the link to my blog in the description of this video. So we're going to also be using some watercolor paper, and this is the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. The sheets, I believe there's 10 sheets to a package, and they are five by seven. So what I did for this, I cut the I cut the watercolor paper in half along the seven inch side, so it's three and a half by five. But for this, I trimmed it, I left the three and a half alone, and then trimmed it to four and three quarters, so the proportions will be right for our card. And other things we will need for the card, we will need a Highland Heather card base that is eight and a half by five and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. We will also need a piece of gorgeous great card stock that is five inches by three and three quarters. And we'll need a piece of Whisper White for the inside that is four inches by five and a quarter inches. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take my little spritzer here and dampen the paper. And then we'll take our brush and I'm going to start with the lightest color first. And I know you see blue, but um, this is clean. Now all you have to do, there's little I'm sure you can't really see it on the camera, but right on the barrel of this brush, it says push. So you push to start the water. And then we're going to pick up some of this Mango Melody and just begin putting it on our paper. Just wherever you want. Sort of randomly, like I said, I kind of call this abstract. Oh, got a little lint. Okay. You want it to be a little darker. We'll leave that right like that for a few seconds. And then I have some paper towel. And you could use, just let it dry, air dry, or you could use your heat tool to dry it. But what I found works for me, for this background anyway, is I just blot it with a paper towel. And that dries it enough, and it does you know, take some of the color away, but it dries it enough that I can move on to the next color without having to heat dry or end it up with a muddy mess. So now I need to clean the brush a little and get the yellow out of there. I'm just kind of going back and forth on a paper towel. It seems to be gone. So let's pick up some of the Bermuda Bay. Just kind of get it on the paper, get the water flowing. Not afraid. Kind of move it around a little bit. We'll take our paper towel, do a little blotting. And yes, this can get a little messy. I don't know if you can see on my fingers, but I do have a little ink on my fingers. Now we'll um, clean the brush and we'll pick up some of that gorgeous grape. and begin to add it to our piece here.
there we go. Let's kind of blot that a little. Now we can kind of take a little bit of inventory here and see what other col color we might want to add. And I do feel it could use a bit more of the Bermuda Bay. Tad more of the mango medley or melody. I always want to call it mango medley. I think that looks pretty good. We'll clean this off a little. Lot. Now, this is when you do want this to dry. Either let it air dry or dry it with your um, heat tool. But I have one. It's all ready to go. I had one that was all ready to go. Here we go. Right here. And let me just move these over out of the way. Clean those up in a bit. Now we'll do some stamping. And for this card, as you can see, I decided to use the Gorgeous Grape. And the first thing we're going to stamp is our sentiment. And this is from the Butterfly Gala um, set. And it says, thank you so very much. Now this is the reason I trimmed my paper down. You could use a larger sheet of this paper and then cut it where you want it um, and then stamp. But I just trimmed it to the size I wanted it so I could get my um, sentiment right where I wanted it instead of trimming later. So there's the thank you very much. And now we'll take the larger butterfly And we'll just put a few of these on here. And I do have some grid paper under here. Oh dear, that one didn't turn out very well. I'm not sure I'll be able to. Yeah, well, let's just leave well enough alone. Um, should have used my Stamparatus. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's put a little wing there. And then we'll put something there. Wow, that just didn't do well at all. <laughs> so let's just pretend that looks so nice and wonderful and well stamped. I made, mm, what can it hurt, huh? Just, mm, no, I think it'd end up being worse. We'll just leave it. Leave it, leave it. Now we'll stamp the smaller butterfly. One here. Okay, now we can do their little antenna and bodies. Maybe this will make this poor butterfly over here look a little better. Or just draw more attention to my mistake. There we go. Let's go ahead and do the smaller ones. Okay. 
there's that. And let's see, we need their little antenna. There's one, two, Now we'll do the antenna for the, or antennae, I'm never sure, <laughs> for the other butterflies, the bigger ones. And so there's our focal point. Oh, we're not quite done with that yet because we want to take our piece of basic white. And we need to stamp some butterflies on it for the inside of our card, make it look all nice. And then we'll do the exact same thing we did. Well, whoops, I need the bodies, don't I? Just getting all inky with it today. I don't know if you can hear all the banging, but it's very windy out here where I live today. Very windy, and there's I can hear on the deck there are some things moving around, and it just sounds like the house is about to fall down. But it's not. There are those. Get them some little antennae. There we go. And that's it for the stamping. So I will put my purple ink away, my gorgeous grape, where I have it over me, all over me more than what I have it on me now. Kind of wipe it off a little. There we go. There's the inside of the card. Here is our card base of Highland Heather. That all lined up. We'll use our stamp and seal. And there's that, and then we would, of course, put a gorgeous grape right here and we would put this right here which I'm not going to do that because I will redo this later I don't want to send someone a card with that partial butterfly but this is what we would have using that background technique and I have some other cards I will show you they're very almost identical this is just using the Bermuda Bay and this is Coastal Cabana this is actually Bermuda Bay stamped on the watercolor background. And that background is Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, and the Bermuda Bay. That's what that card looks like. Then here's what I made using um, the, um, Memento Tuxedo Black for the butterflies. And this is believe it or not, Poppy Parade in Mango Melody and Coastal Cabana. 
And then this is the Magenta Madness for the card base. So there's that one. And then here's this one. And I didn't um, stamp the sentiment on the card front. I put it on some So Saffron cardstock, and that's what my card base is. And this is mounted on some basic black, of course. And this is the Magenta Madness with So Saffron. And there is Coastal Cabana in there, but it, it sort of melds in with the um, Magenta Madness. So there you go. It's just a, it really doesn't take that long to do this background and it's kind of fun to use the water painters and your spritzer and um, create a unique background because it turns out differently every time. And again, that was with the Butterfly Gala stamp set, which as I said is retiring. On my blog there is a link to the re list of retiring items, so you might want to check that out. And then again, here's the punch. The butterfly duet punch that accompanies the or that coordinates with the stamp set and one more peek at the cards thank you so much for joining me today i really appreciate you stopping by until next time stamp happy